San Francisco, famous for its Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz, and trams. It's also famous for its sports. In fact, that over there is the home of the San Francisco Giants, a major league baseball team. But I hadn't come for any of that. I was in San Fran to see a vehicle best known for its role in one of the greatest movies of all time. Unbelievable. Back to the future. This is the DeLorean hovercraft. Inspired by the car Michael J. Fox drove in the trilogy of blockbuster films, this amphibious vehicle takes you on a nostalgic journey back in time. Its creator, Matt Reese, is not an eccentric scientist, but a film buff and philosophy graduate. And like Doc Brown in the movie, Matt has also created his vehicle in true madcap fashion. It's sort of like a big surfboard. It's uh, styrofoam wrapped in fiberglass with metallic paint all over. There's some, some wood and aluminum in the support structural areas. So how much does it weigh? It's about 500 pounds. The original DeLorean DMC-12 was driven by a V6 engine, but in order to power his replica time machine, Matt had to raid the garden shed. I love the fact that you have a lawnmower engine to yeah. lift this off yeah. the ground because it's that lightweight. There are two engines on the machine. The one at the front, which actually gives it its lift, is a six horsepower lawnmower engine, which will lift it about six to eight inches off the water. The one at the back, that was about a 23 horsepower engine attached to a 36 inch propeller. And that'll give it thrust. Uh, it goes about 30 miles an hour. Matt's amphibious DeLorean is pretty impressive, but with no formal training, how did he manage to create such an accurate replica? Basically, I found this one image online of a DeLorean that's sort of as a schematic. So I could use that and just blow up the scale and then, and then try to measure it from there. But I wasn't here to admire Matt's design skills. Time to see how this machine performs. So I decided to pull out all the stops with my get up. I was going to get soaked and the purple marigolds may not have been chic, but they would definitely be needed. I'm not quite feeling as cool as I thought I would. <laughs> it's going to feel a lot less cool when salt water is spraying in your face. And Matt wasn't wrong about that. As we picked up speed, it was like driving through a never-ending waterfall. What I love about the hovercraft is it is nostalgia. It takes me back to being a kid because, let's face it, a DeLorean is one of the most iconic movie cars that has ever been. And amazingly, Matt had agreed to let me pilot his pride and joy. It's just full throttle or nothing. OK. Oh, I just right. couldn't wait so, to get going. Engines on. In true poly fashion, as soon as I took to the wheel, the engine wouldn't start. <laughs> Do we need another flux capacitor? Yeah, yeah. Since we weren't going to get a jump start in the middle of the bay, Matt had to resort to some good old pulling power to try and get us moving. <laughs> we were never going to get to 88 miles per hour like this. I have no idea what's happening. But finally, Matt brought out the big guns, some WD-40. <laughs> At last, I could pretend to be as cool as Marty McFly. Once I took the wheel, it was fairly tricky to control, but I know that because hovercrafts don't necessarily have that much control. And you have even less control when the steering wheel comes off. But Matt soon fixed that. What surprised me the most is how slow it is when you're at the wheel. I almost had my foot to the floor as far as it would go, and it didn't really feel like it was doing anything. So, uh, if you want to get over hump speed, just yeah. point it in one direction and go for like 15 seconds, then it should be able to pick oh, up okay, speed. Cool. He kept mentioning like this hump, you have to get over the hump, which is like this void we're creating underneath the hovercraft that we need to get over and then we plane. I almost felt like I never really got over the hump. But you know what? The whole idea, the whole concept is very cool and I think Matt deserves a pat on the back for coming up with that idea. I'm just happy that I sat in the seat bobbing in the DeLorean. I conduct some extreme nighttime testing to find the world's best torch. 
Susie celebrates the gadget that connects. We're losing pressure. She's gonna blow. <laughs> <laughs>